A massive cleanup is underway after flash floods swept through Connecticut and other parts of the Northeast on Sunday. Some areas got up to a foot of rain. At least, at least two people were killed. CBS's Nikki Batiste reports tonight from the flood zone. In Connecticut, hours of nonstop torrential downpours unleashed a trail of deadly destruction, washing away roads and bridges, submerging cars. A flash flood stranded several drivers. This man, an amputee, and his dog were pulled to safety. And there was this precarious rescue involving 19 people trapped inside a restaurant. We are talking about rainfall in, the, in some areas in the thousand year level. So it's really historic unprecedented flooding. Southwestern Connecticut receives about four inches of rain in all of August, but nearly a foot fell in this storm in just a matter of hours. The water just came rushing over the walls like it just came out of nowhere. Kimberly Halepin has lived in the nearby town of Sandy Hook for 24 years. This was the view of her yard before the storm, and this is how it looked as floodwaters raged. What were you feeling in that moment? Panic. I just thought my, the front of my house was going to cave in. Like, I really thought we were going to get washed away, you know? The storm also caused major damage in New Jersey and on New York's Long Island, Suffolk County especially hard hit. Back in Connecticut, there's now added misery for Kimberly Halepin. Do you have flood insurance? No, I don't. And uh, and I just got the phone call from our insurance that said they're not going to help us with anything. We're screwed. Connecticut's governor declared a state of emergency today, which he says he hopes will help bring federal resources here. One of the women who died had escaped her car and was clinging to a road sign as firefighters tried to rescue her. But the water was too strong and she was swept away. Nora. Mm. Thinking of all the victims, Nikki Batiste, thank you so much.